Hello and welcome to Pep Talk with me, Mr Pepperell. Today we're going on an adventure beyond the limits of human hearing. By the end of this episode, you should be able to describe what is meant by ultrasound, how is ultrasound used for medical imaging, and finally, why is ultrasound better than x-rays? So we touched very briefly on uh, ultrasound when we talked uh, a long time ago and we talked about waves. But now we need to know actually what is it? What do I mean by ultrasound? Well, human ears, like this one here, uh, can detect a frequency of about 20 hertz. OK, now remember, hertz is number of waves per second, number of oscillations per second. So this means 20 waves per second. OK, so the lowest frequency the human ears can detect is down here at 20 hertz. Now, this sound would be an extremely low pitch sound. OK, for example, the noise of a pneumatic drill has a frequency of around 250 hertz, much higher than this. OK, which is about the same as me saying the letter M going mm when it comes to sound the lower the frequency the lower the pitch of the sound so you can see here that my frequency is currently about uh four and a half kilohertz or four thousand five hundred hertz but as i increase that frequency you can start to hear the sound getting more high pitched so at frequencies like the one we just heard and frequencies above that, our ears can detect the sound. And we can detect the sound all the way up to a frequency of about 20,000 hertz. Or we can also write that as 20 kilohertz as well. And that means 20,000 sound waves per second hitting your ear. OK, but as you get older, your ears do lose some of their sensitivity and this range starts to shrink. But as far as we're concerned, humans can hear in a frequency range from about 20, 20 sorry, up to about 20. 20,000 hertz and anything above 20,000 hertz we call ultrasound okay and ultrasounds can actually be pretty useful so when you use the phrase ultrasound pretty much what comes to most people's mind is this scan of an unborn baby here because in a medical situation we can use ultrasounds to visualize organs and uh, ligaments and muscles and even whole human beings like this while they're inside the body the actual setup consists of a few different components. Firstly, we've got over here the transducer, which produces and detects pulses of ultrasound. Then we've got the computer and control system just here and a display screen so we can actually see what we're looking at. And this is a typical setup that's used in prenatal scanning of a developing baby. So what's actually happening here? Well, the ultrasound pulse from the transducer here is partially reflected every time it reaches a boundary between two tissue types, such as uh, the boundary between the skin and the fat here, for example. And what happens is that those ultrasound pulses are reflected and they return to the transducer. So they're emitted from the transducer, they reach a boundary between two different tissue types and they reflect back. OK, so what happens is as the transducer is moved across the body like this, um, what happens is the pulses arrive back at different times depending on how far away the boundaries or interfaces between the tissues are okay for example an ultrasound pulse would take a lot longer if it was uh, coming down and bouncing off of this boundary back to the uh, transducer than it would if it was coming down and bouncing off this boundary back to the transducer because it would obviously have a lot further to travel and in this way it's possible to build up an image on the screen of the entire internal tissue boundaries in a body, be that a kidney or be it, you know, in this case, a baby's face. Now, this image here produced by our ultrascan is nowhere near as detailed as our uh, X-ray image or our CT scan. So why bother in the first place? Well, firstly, unlike X-rays, OK, ultrasound is non-ionising and therefore it's not harmful. So non-ionising is one benefit of ultrasound. And this is particularly important, obviously, when you are scanning things like developing babies. OK, and also, unlike X-rays, uh, the pulses are reflected at the boundaries between two different tissue types. So they can be used to scan things like organs, which X-rays can't. So the fact you can differentiate between tissue types with ultrasound is another benefit 
And one final use of ultrasound is for breaking up these things that we've got here, kidney stones that can form inside your kidney and they're very painful, okay? So what we do here is we direct powerful ultrasound pulses and they can be used to just literally vibrate these um, stones and that breaks them up, the larger stones, into much smaller fragments and this makes it much easier for those smaller pieces um, to be passed out of the body and it's far less painful to wee those out than it is to try and squeeze these big lumps out through your wee pipes. So that's what we need to know about how ultrasounds can be used to produce medical images. Any problems with that don't hesitate to tweet me at Mr Pepperell or email me and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for stopping by.